We're back. Lock palm. Let's do this. Come on, Carter! It's a bit healy, a bit spazzy. And it's going to have a bit of golf cart path assistance to start with. <laughs> Come on, Carter! 300 yards! Yep, worthy of a Carter spaz. We're out with Natty today. So what do you come, Natty? Next week, the wife has asked me to go away with her on a yoga retreat. I have to go because we've got a four-year-old son that I've got to look after. So we're not playing next week, so we're going to extend the Breaking 80 Challenge for yet another week. So we've got just a few weeks left of the Breaking 80 Challenge. That's a good start. 300 yards and just off the green. Come on, Carter! It wasn't quite 300 yards, but we're just a flick away. So and massively slice through this one. Poor connection. 59 yards out. Nowhere near the green. <laughs> yeah, very disappointing to be this far away from the green. And also this bump and run. Look how far it is away from the hole. So we've got a testy comebacker for par. Ah, lipping it out. Ah, all right, bogey. 50 freaking nine yards out and you take a bogey. Come on, come on. Yeah, definitely a shitey bogey. And I feel an angry spaz coming on. That's a really disappointing bogey off the first. 59 yards out. The chip on was what cost you. Nowhere near the green. We go for birdie now. Okay, Get on in two. Let's go for an eagle. Let's go. If you're an avid watcher and subscriber, you will know we've never had an eagle. We're only about 190 out. So we take our five iron, aiming a little bit left, expecting a bit of a fade, but we hit it dead straight and we will end up exactly pin high. A little flick on, and we're on, but we're going to be a little bit short here. And after this putt, we're still going to be a little bit short, and we end up three putting. So another shitey bogey. Come on, Carter! Pulled that one again, just over the bunker. So I think we're pin high just off the green. Let's go and check it out. You cannot start shit on this course, and that's a really shit start. Come on, Carter. It's such a shit start. I thought I'd clear the water, but we were in, so here's your penalty shot. We just creep on the green. But that's shot three, so we've got a testy putt for bogey. There it is. Oh. Uh, and I actually marked this wrong on the video. It is, of course, double part. bogey. Come on, Carter. Finally a sexy shot that we're happy with. Nine iron, just a slight fade around the tree. We're back on the fairway. We're gonna be about 70 yards out, let's go. 70 yards out was my intent, exactly where we are. So some good course management, and this is a delightful flick on, setting us up for a birdie opportunity. Right, come on, Carter. We're not par hunting, because we're five over par after four holes. So we've got to go for birdie, let's go. Stay away yeah. from the dip. It's long enough, isn't it? Oh, yeah. perfect. Look at that. All right, finally a tee shot that went where we were aiming. This time on for Birdie Natty. Let's go. It's a big old duffer. 
we barely get over the water it's going to leave us about 35 yards out we're on but a little bit left so it's a testy part this is for par So off the tee so far, even if it was a crappy connection, the resulting shots have been absolutely fantastic so far. We've had lines in. We're going to be about 90 to 100 hours, so let's stick this one on the pin. Go for birdie, Natty! It's a big old duffer again from about 90 yards out. Exactly the same as the hole before. This time we thin it! Massively! over the back of the green third time lucky this is a delightful recovery chip but it's a little bit too late but we leave this nicely next to the pin for a little tap in but it's another bogey come on Carter Finally, a carcass buzz. Finally, Natty! Birdie! We go for bogey! Birdie now! <laughs> Come on, Carter! Ugly, flippy swing, slicing right through it. Come on, Carter. A really shit front nine. We're already eight over par, so we can't drop any more shots. We have to smash the back nine, Natty. <laughs> it's time to go and smash the back nine. This is going to be a fantastic start. Not big old duffer. But we do manage to get it down at about 120 yards. But we've got no green to work with. We're coming over this bunker. And as I said, not a lot of green to work with. But we do stick it on the green. And we're not far away for the pin. This is a birdie opportunity. Yeah, that putt moved a lot more than I'd expected, but we will take a tap in par. Come back. We're going to get really lucky here. The pin was front and we pulled it left, but cleared the bunkers and then we thin it again, just like on the seventh hole over the green. And look how far off we are. Oh, it's not very often I do that. <laughs> get physically annoyed. This is the shit that you always practice. Fucking thin it off the green again. I'm genuinely two hours before the round practicing all these shots. And look, I do it, well, the opposite this time. Duff it. Barely onto the green. Chucking the club again. And then we get a two putt. Double bogey. Disappointing double bogey there. Short game is absolutely laughable today. <laughs> That's all I can do, laugh. First one you massively thin, the second one you massively duff. Fat and thin, fat and thin. Come on, Cardo! It's fair to say we're expecting an angry spaz here. And that's exactly what it is. This is an absolute spaz. We're looking upwards of 250 yards here with a hybrid. Come on, Cardo! Is that worthy of a Cardo spaz? Yes. Yeah, Come on, Cardo! Not bad for a hybrid. That was, of course, an angry spaz, if ever I've seen one. That must be upwards of 250, that one. I really wanted to just hit the shit out of that one. If I've got an uphill lie, I'm going to go with a three wood. We're going to go for the green, Natty. Okay, two on. Finish. So on, We got for both. 
An eagle with a regal! Let's go! What do you think, Natty? We do have to go three wood, but I did promise if we have an uphill lie, we're going for it. I never ever use my three wood. I used to use it exclusively as my teeing club, but I haven't used it for a long time, so we're going to go for it. Come on, Carter! It's a delightful spaz, expecting a fade, but we stay dead straight. We are going to be just short of pin high, but it's down there. Yeah, so I've used the three word for about three years. Happy with that spaz? Apparently an eight, nine footer for birdie, let's go. Doppy the toppy, Carter. This is only about 80 yards down there. So we're going to go with the Gratoy again. This time, it's a massive lob wedge. So two shots it's taken to get about where you'd hit your tee shot normally. And then it's another massive, massive duffer. We're lucky we duffed it so much it didn't go into the bunker. And then we duff it again. It was a top. It was a duff. It was a duff. It was a duff. Let's hope we don't duff the putter. Ooh. Phew. This is actually a nice lager up there putt, whatever that means. And leaving us a little tap in for a two putt. It's a double bogey. Yeah, effing, effing shite. Stoppy the toppy again. <sighs> so... Ball massively above your feet. Not normally good at these shots, but flush strike. A little bit right, but we're down there. And we're going with the good die again. It would be nice to string two shots in a row together that are good. We're lucky to find this one. And then we duff this chip. Yeah, every time. And then this happens. Fucking Jesus Christ! <laughs> I do have to apologise about the profanity. I'm really not holding it together during this round. But the putting, at least something's going all right. It's remaining consistent. We're lagering out there nicely, but it's another double. We're off to the 15th, a million over par. This was an all right strike. We're going to be just off the green, and it's going to be a bump and run special. Come on, Carter! Oh, surely that's worthy of a Carter spaz. Come on, Carter. Come on, Carter. Hey, there it is. Definitely worthy. Okay, finish. Finish, Tamaraya. I think I spoke too soon about the putting being consistent. That's not a good three putt from about 20 feet, Carter. We're off to the 17th. My favourite hole in the whole wide world. So as you can see from my first edit, I forgot to add the shot trace, but we've ended up left. And this chip on, we're about a yard short of perfection. So, yeah, we got that for par. Yeah, not one putt has dropped. But we're off to the 18th. It's time to put ourselves out of our misery. This is a horrible, flippy swing, and it's a thin. We're lucky to clear the first of the bunkers. It's going to leave us a blind shot in with, I think it's an eight iron. Uphill lie. Really massively stabbed down at that. Oh, I nearly broke my wrist with that one. Oh, that was painful. 
massive duffer, just off the green, another chip that I'm going to duff. Where's your confidence, Carter? Come on. You're just one yeah, shot away from greatness, Mika always says. This one was a flush mm -hmm. connection, but just massively misjudged the distance. So you've got that long testy putt for par, which of course is not going to drop. Another bogey. Oh, thank goodness. That's over 44 out. 43. And look at this, though. We take positives from every round. 10 fairways. Putting, even though it was consistent. 35. And final score, 87. Disappointing, 87. Let's have a look at the whole breakdowns. Par 3s, par 4s, and par 5s. Bit rubbishy. Uh, as I said, putts kind of okay smash the birdie but look at that only four pars that's just not going to get the job done carter so why do we break 85 it was all those duffed and thinned chip shots but i just really can't be bothered to show i'm just tuning next week come on carter